is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the Silverstone HE01's uh, CPU cooler. Silverstone has long been known as a top name and top quality manufacturer in cases, power supplies, and fans, but uh, they've made CPU coolers in the past, but it's never really been the forefront of what they do, nor have they ever been at the forefront of CPU coolers in general. But the HE01 may just change all that. It's really an incredibly different and incredibly well thought out CPU cooler. Taking a look, as we can see, it's a dual tower design. And as you can see, the fan sits in the center. It is not a dual fan design. Rather than using a dual fan, they're going to use one 38 millimeter thick fan rather than the standard 25. But that's uh, kind of important as this fan is 500 to 2000 RPM PWM and is capable of up to 171 CFM. Uh, all keeping it under 43 dB. Obviously that is going to be a little bit loud, but 2000 RPM, 171 CFM, that's going to be moving a lot of air. The fan itself, as we take a look, Silverstone fan, has performance and quiet switch on it. Uh, the quiet mode will cap the RPMs down to 1200 RPM, keeping it much, much quieter under load. Now, the tower itself, really nicely thought out. Dual tower design, as you can see, six six millimeter heat pipes. Now, if you take a look, there's an obvious difference in the two towers. Reason being very simple. Uh, with no fan up front and slim tower, it's not going to block any RAM slot. So if you are a fan of the tall RAM, it's going to fit right in in most motherboards. The bulk of the cooling is going to be done by the rear tower, obviously much larger. Six heat pipes going through each, as you can see. Going down, contact block. Six heat pipes running through, and really nicely milled surface down the bottom. Milled not to a shine, but just about perfectly flat. Very, very minimal score marks anywhere within the uh, contact area itself. Really interesting design, interesting concept. Very well thought out in using the two size towers to keep the uh, area in front of the CPU cooler open for today's very, very popular taller heatsink RAM. The mounting kit for the HE01 starts with the manual, laid out. It is a nice looking mounting or, uh, installation manual, I should say, illustrated. Uh, however, you do need to read through it a bit. It um, doesn't have a lot of differentiation between the 1155, 1366, 775 mounts, and there are some differences. Uh, also, LGA 2011, also different once again. Uh, the section for AMD is entirely separate, and the AMD mounting is going to remain pretty much the same for all the AMD mounts. But moving on, the um, mounting kit itself is a uh, one-size-fits-all mounting kit, shall we say, using um, multiple application backplate for Intel and AMD. Uh, Intel 775, 1155, 1156, 1366, and LGA 2011, as well as AMD, AM2, AM3 mounts, and FM1, FM2. So, multi-use backplate, got AMD mounts, Intel mounts, center crossbar, LGA 2011 bolts, and bolts and spacers for the non-LGA 2011 mounts, um, which would be all the other Intel as well as AMD. Spacer, which is used in LGA 775. Vibration dampening strips uh, for the fans. Small tube of thermal interface material. And also three sets of fan clips. One fan is included, but the HE01 is three fan capable. Uh, so if you decide to add fans, the clips are already included. From a design and engineering standpoint, the Silverstone HE01 is just really an incredibly cool piece. Dual tower design, as you see, front tower smaller to make uh, more room available in front of the CPU for taller heatsink RAM, should you decide to use it. Also, available uh, to put a fan there, should you desire to make it a dual fan, or a third fan on the rear to make it a tri-fan setup. Really nice looking. Uh, nice silver top with the Silverstone logo, six 6mm six heat pipes going through the uh, contact block, 38mm uh, deep 140mm fan, capable of an astonishing 171 CFM at 2000 RPM, but it can also go all the way down to 500 uh, RPM for very silent computing. The Silverstone HE01, just really an incredibly impressive piece out of the box.